Hey guys, Chris Van Am 2021 here, and today I am back with another review. And today, like I promised in my yesterday's post, I'm going to be reviewing the Stanley Funko Pop from Five Nights at Freddy's, The Twisted Ones. Uh, if you don't know what The Twisted Ones is, it is basically the second book in the novel trilogy. I've not read it, but I've heard it's a pretty good book. I've read The Silver Eyes uh, in the graphic novel, just not the the Twisted Ones or The Fourth Closet. Um, but I've heard that they're good books. Um, this character I actually know because it's only really in the the Silver Eyes, but it is l grouped together with the Twisted Ones because the novel trilogy just doesn't sound as good as the Twisted Ones. So this pop, uh, you wouldn't usually think of a unicorn when you think of FNAF, but there is in fact a unicorn animatronic. It was built for Charlie as a toy um, when she was little by her father Henry. Um, and so they made it into a Funko Pop. Uh, this came out in 2018. It is a Hot Topic exclusive, but I got this only yesterday at a buy-sell trade store in a mall. They had a big wall of Funko Pops, and I was looking for some good ones, and I found a FNAF one. This is my only FNAF Funko Pop. I would like to have Freddy or something, but I have Stanley, but... I think it looks good regardless. I think Stanley does look really good. So before we take it out of the box, I'm going to show you the packaging. Here's the Stanley package art, vinyl figure, the warnings. This is pop number 21 of the Five Nights at Freddy's collection. And here are some of the other pops that you can get. Twisted Freddy, Twisted Wolf, Twisted Bonnie, Twisted Foxy, Twisted Chica, and Theodore. You can also get Ella, uh, which is another character from the novel trilogy. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty good with the box art. I like this up here, the tw Five Nights at Freddy's, the Twisted Ones. On the bottom, some information, and on the top, here. So, now we can get into the unboxing. I've actually already unboxed this, and I'm pretty sure that since this is at a buy-sell trade place, that somebody else has already probably unboxed this, so it's not like it matters. Uh, so we're going to put that box aside. Um, I'll take him out of here. So here is Stanley himself. Take this stuff away. So, here is Stanley. And I have to say, right off the bat, he looks fantastic. Uh, the detail is great. The teeth and the withering around the eyes is absolutely fantastic. I love... Um, all the details in the withering, um, the withering around, like, the holes and stuff and tears around each joint, I think it's a little bit overkill, but that's just the way it's designed, so I, I can't really complain. The tail looks pretty good, I like the way that the wheels are on here, um, they don't actually roll, but they are still pretty cool. There's the strands of hair back here, and ears... I could probably get my mom to tell you a lot more about unicorns than I could because I'm not a girl and I'm not into that kind of thing. Um, but I am a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, so I will pretty much get anything it was for with the Five Nights at Freddy's logo as long as it's good. Um, the horn up here is nice. You can see some withering on the, I guess, mane, you would call it. I don't know. I don't like horses, so not a big fan of those but the head does turn 360 just like just about every other Funko Pop I think um and underneath you can see like the uh engraving of the information this is actually where you can see that it was made in 2018 let me just get it to focus 2018 Scott Cawthon there you go Made in Vietnam. Um, so one thing I like about it is that the white on it is yellowish, and that makes sense because it's older and gonna be more broken down. So that's understandable. Um, I actually really, I just, I really like this pop. When I first bought it yesterday, I wasn't actually the biggest fan of it, but now I think that it's completely justified, and I really like this pop. Even my mom. Who's not a really big fan of creepy things anymore, and especially not FNAF, um, likes this pop. So, um, I don't have another FNAF Funko Pop to compare it to, but I do have another Funko Pop. So 
let me just, I will, uh, put this back here. Have some stuff to stand it up on. Uh, I got this other Funko Pop, which is my only other one. Got it. So, this is my only other Funko Pop that I have. It is Marv from Home Alone. I know, it's, it's a pretty strange pop, I know. But this is the only other one that I have. I bought it at the same buy-sell trade place. So these two Funko Pops were bought at the same place at very different times. I bought this one last year, I think, for Christmas. And I bought this one January, or not January, February 20th, which is yesterday, uh, while I'm filming this. Um... So yeah, obviously they're not super comparable because one is human and one is a literal unicorn. Um, but this one also has swiveling head, uh, you know, so you can see the burn mark from the iron in the movie. But this isn't really what we're here to talk about. We're not here to talk about Marv. Uh, we're here to talk about Stanley. But this is the only Funko Pop I can really compare it to. Um, the eyes are really the only thing that looks the same. So... Yeah, but overall, I really do like Stanley as a Funko Pop. I think that, I would say that the Mystery Mini is probably the best out of his merch, but this is definitely an improvement over the plushie, and I have to say that this and the Mystery Mini compete for the best Stanley merch. Um, and I think that Stanley has a great design. I think they did a really good job with making him look creepy. Um, and... I think I'm going to have to give Funko A plus on this one. A plus. So, good job, Funko. Hopefully they start making more FNAF Pops again soon. Um, with that said, this will be the end of the review and the end of, the, of another video. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos and Five Nights at Freddy's, be sure to subscribe and like the video if you want to. Um, Turn on the notification bell for all notifications of the videos and posts that I upload. So, that is going to do for the review today. I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye.